your boy Lolo uh, coming back at y'all with another video I hope you guys don't mind I got to keep the fan on today might turn on a little bit later I just turned the AC on but it is hot over here in Texas it's been consistently 100 degrees 90 degrees you already know all that stuff it's it's just it's just too hot so lo and behold here we are back with another video I'm excited to get this one going today so today we're just gonna talk about uh, something that I've been actually been asked a lot frequently um, so this is something I've actually been asked a lot frequently, and it's just whether or not I think uh, a boot camp is a good idea, whether or not I think a boot camp is a great recommendation. A coding boot camp is something that I took. It's actually how I transitioned from medicine to tech. It can be any length in time, you know, three months to a year, two years. Uh, I know that the boot camp that I did was specifically four months, 15 weeks, and I think that it was definitely worth it. It was definitely a... Uh, I, I definitely think it changed my life for sure. There's, there's, there's no question about that. So there are boot camps that you can be with other classmates in person learning just like how you would in school or in college. My boot camp was online because I took it, you know, during that COVID period, right? You can also take a boot camp by yourself. Uh, and I'll kind of explain a little bit more of that as I go. You kind of just spend a short period of time just trying to learn as much of uh, the core knowledge of being a web developer. That experience that you gain, you know, uh, whether or not your bootcamp helps you work on projects, that's what helps you get to the next level. And for myself, personally, I think it was worth it because I wanted structure. I knew that structure wasn't something that I was going to be able to do on my own. You know, if I studied straight from Free Code Camp or straight from YouTube, uh, or even Udemy courses. So because of that, I wanted something uh, that was gonna offer a little bit more structure and I found that in a boot camp. And also, I, since I was transitioning from medicine, uh, I kind of wanted to you know, just get things up and going since I had been away from working for uh, a long time at that point. So I just, you know, that was, that was what was best for me. October 2021, I start searching for boot camps, right? What happened was I started meeting with different people on LinkedIn or going to conferences and calling people. Uh, you know, just online that I would meet on Twitter or whatever, and I'd say, Hey, how did you like your boot camp? What did you think of it? Uh, can you tell me the pros and cons? And that's essentially what it was. I really thought this was important because it really gave me uh, a sense of mind on, you know, what uh, I could go into this boot camp, you know, looking for, and what I could go into this boot camp coming out of, you know, like what knowledge I would gain. So here's the first thing that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna say because I get this question a lot is whether or not you have to have any technical experience to get into a boot camp. I would say uh, you should try to. You definitely, not like it's not that you don't have to have any experience, but I think that it's something that you should try to do on your own. Uh, maybe if you can you know, go on Udemy or go on YouTube or Free Code Camp, I think it's really important 
to do that because that way, you know, you kind of realize, hey, this software engineering, this web development, what exactly is this? What exactly am I getting myself into? Is this something I can realistically see myself doing from nine to five, you know, for however many years to make however much money? Is it something I can realistically see myself doing? And once you spend, you know, maybe about a month, uh, just you know studying on your own on your own time you know just trying to figure out the basics i think that's when you can you know really make the decision is like okay this is really good but i need something that's going to be a little bit more structured that's going to offer me a little bit more practice more prep you know teachers uh, that are going to guide me to be where i need to be and that's when you can make the decision of whether or not a boot camp is good for you i think that youtube like the site that you guys are watching this video on right now youtube udemy free code camp I'm going to keep on preaching about those three resources. There's hundreds of more, probably thousands of more, uh, where you can find resources, uh, you know, of people teaching you how to code for free. And I think those are so important to really helping somebody grow on their own time and, you know, finding uh, out whether or not you really think you can do this on your own. I, th I think that's the first step is just seeing, you know, okay, this is something that I want to do. All right, so boom. So let's say that you have already made that decision. You've already decided that, hey, I want to do software engineering. I want to be a developer. So now, so, that, so now y'all at my video, right? So I think that you kind of want to look at different boot camps. So there are boot camps that can offer different things, you know, for things such as cybersecurity, uh, software engineering, product management, even for UI UX. Uh, for me, obviously, with web development, uh, from what I saw, there's a lot more of that. So it was super easy to get a wide variety of boot camps. So what I did is, like I said before, is I would just call up people um, who actually attended the boot camp that I found on LinkedIn. Uh, I didn't I didn't have the phone numbers. I would just message them, say, hey, can I have a meeting with you? Talk about your boot camp experience. And then from then on, I was able to say, hey, did you like it? Would you recommend this boot camp? X, Y, and Z. And I found that to be very, very, very beneficial. It actually helped me X a lot of them off straight up from the jump. And I think that, yeah, so that was one of the things that was super, super important to me. So I'm gonna say, you know, make sure that you are getting in contact with people who are looking at the boot camps that you already looked at. So there's a website, it's called Career Karma. Career Karma can kind of help guide you to figuring out what boot camp you wanna do. Um, kind of get a variety on videos uh, from YouTube. And in this video, I, I want it to be clear, I'm not going to try to sell you on my boot camp specifically. Uh, just because I'm not, that's that's not what this is. I'm just trying to tell you guys, you know, hey, I took a boot camp, I benefited from it, and hopefully I can help you make a decision uh, to see whether or not that is the right path for you. Last year at this time, I was in a position where I didn't want to invest another two two plus years or four plus years into a actual college degree or a master's program. So because of that, I wanted something that was short and quick uh, that I knew had a pretty that I knew had a pretty high success rate. Now, I think that boot camps are really powerful tools, uh, specific, especially if you kind of go into it with the idea of utilizing all your resources. Now, the one that I picked specifically, um, okay, so let me backtrack a little bit. The reason I picked mine is because I was having a phone call with a friend uh, right before I even entered the field and she was telling me some of the things that helped her get an interview regardless. Uh, she went to, uh, college program to study CS. So what I decided to do was take some of the suggestions that she led to me. So she was like, hey, projects were some of the key selling points of me getting my job. Uh, make, make sure that you have projects and make sure that you can really talk about your project. So because of that, I wanted a boot camp that was gonna be able to offer me assistance in building my own project. So one of the main things that I wanted was a boot camp where I could, you know, build something. What I want you guys to do is look for your dream job, all right? Go to LinkedIn, go to whatever job board, Indeed, anything, and look for your dream job, or even look just for the entry-level job that you that you feel like you're gonna be applying to. I know this is a pretty hard decision because it, a lot of, it involves a lot of future thinking, especially if you really haven't given a dive into coding, which, you know, preface to what I said earlier, is why it's really important to uh, kind of practice what you wanna do for like a month. Um, see like if you like the front end or if you like the back end and then you know start to look for those jobs I'm not saying apply to them but just you know look for them on LinkedIn and when you look for them on LinkedIn what you're gonna want to do is look at the specific job descriptions right uh, you know it doesn't have to be on LinkedIn it can be on any job board indeed uh, like whatever can't think of anything on top of my head but you want to look for these job descriptions and when you find the job descriptions uh, let's say it says JavaScript react 
Ruby on Rails, those are some of the things, and those are the languages that this dream job has. So ideally, you're gonna want to go to a bootcamp that's gonna hit most of those checkboxes of your dream job. And that can help you uh, ease down the process. Like for me, I remember uh, there was boot camps that were teaching some languages that I wasn't really interested in learning at the time. So I picked the ones that, you know, coincided with the things that I wanted to do at the moment. I would definitely say that the whole process, you know, of taking a boot camp uh, as opposed to, you know, getting another degree for me was a 10 out of 10. I, I think that uh, it's nice to have gone through it in four months, uh, 15 weeks. Uh, came, up, came out on the other side, uh, getting a job and getting paid as opposed to, you know, waiting two years or four years for a degree. Obviously, I didn't learn as much uh, as anybody who would have a degree. I definitely cannot say because that degree definitely means a lot. But I would say that the that my experience was really, really good and I'm definitely grateful for uh, everything that my bootcamp offered me. But anyways, I hope you all like this video. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information or a little bit of information to, you know, guide you to making that decision to see if a boot camp is right for you. And like I said, please, please, please hit me up if you have any sort of question about my boot camp. If you have any sort of question about boot camps in general, uh, I would be more than happy and more than willing to help you guys out. That being said, you know, like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.